If you wanted to know how to change the settings on your Windows PC device to be able to get better photo quality, stay tuned because today that's what we're going to be talking about. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the settings within your Windows PC, which I have right here to my left, to be able to get the absolute best photo quality. Now the settings have a lot to do with your actual photo quality because if you don't have the right settings, you can go ahead and print a photo and it will print either on a blank sheet of paper or it'll print on photo paper, but it'll be using settings where you would normally be printing on regular photo paper. So your quality is not going to be at its absolute best. So we're going to dive in. I'm gonna show you the settings that I use and I'm actually using an HP printer and I'm gonna be using a Epson photo paper. So I'm not using HP photo paper and that's just as an example to show you that you don't have to use the same brand. Uh, you don't have to correlate that to the type of printer that you have. You can actually use different brands, different types of photo paper. As long as your printer can uh, handle a wide variety of different types of photo paper. And I know this because on the spec sheets of most of these printers, it does not specify what brand of photo paper you need to use. And so I've tested it and you'll see it for yourself later on in the video. But if this video does end up being helpful, please make sure to like any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. Now, if you want to go above and beyond and this video ends up being of ultimate value to you and you really want to show your appreciation, you can actually leave a donation. There's a button down below. It's the super thanks button. You can leave anywhere from a dollar or as high as you would like. And of course, above and beyond, but always, always greatly appreciated. Also, the sponsor of today's video is... Uh, my very own product, the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. Essentially, if you're having clogs, if your uh, printer is not printing a certain color, uh, it's printing blank pages, or you have choppy prints, you're gonna wanna consider using this product uh, because it's going to break the blockage and allow you to print normally again. I've heard people that have received this product within 12 hours and they were back up and running in no time. So you really are gonna wanna consider this product if you or someone you know is going through that type of issue with your printer. There's going to be a link down in the description below for your convenience There's also a ton of videos on this channel All you have to do is go to my channel page go to the search bar and search up the type of printer You're having an issue with and you will find a instructional video of me using this product on that specific printer model All right, so these settings again are very important now if you're using a Mac device or an iPhone, I've already made a video for you. It's on my channel page. I'll link it somewhere here or in the description below. Uh, this is only, only for Windows PC devices because the instructions I use for the iPhone are actually going to apply for an Android device as well because they're gonna be pretty much the same. But this video is, again, specifically for Windows, uh, getting into the settings and being able to print directly to your computer. This, of course, is you uh, connecting either by Wi-Fi but usually a direct connection with a a to B cable that connects your computer, your tower to directly to your printer. And that's usually how that connection is gonna happen. That is how my setup is here. And I'm gonna show you the settings to be able to get the absolute best photo quality. All right, so I have my desktop. This is actually a curved screen. Um, it's adjustable, I can move it up and down. I really like that aspect of it. I will link this down in the description below. It's a Dell curved uh, monitor and I will get you the specific model number and everything because I really love it and I really recommend it. So I'd like, if you wanted it, you know, I would give you the recommendation as well. Now here is the tower that I'm using. I will link the tower and the monitor down in the description below so that you know exactly what I'm using here. Here's the photo that we're going to be printing. So you have your photo and you can either have it in a folder, you can have it wherever it might be, and you're gonna take it, you're going to click on it, and make sure it opens up in uh, this Windows Photo application. So once it's open in this application, what you're gonna do on your mouse is you're going to right click. Once you right click, you're going to get some options here. You're gonna get the option to save as, print, copy, course what we're going to be doing here is we want to print this photo and th these are the settings this is what you want so your orientation that's very important do you want landscape or do you want portrait in this case we will be doing landscape what tray are you going to be using your back paper tray or you have a main tray like me I just have one tray you want to make sure of the size so the way you check the size is you're going to take your photo paper 
and you're gonna see here on the side or somewhere on the packaging the actual size of the this photo paper which mine is 8.5 by 11 that's the size I usually like uh, to print on 8.5 by 11 letter we've got that and so here is a very important setting is paper type now what we have is ultra premium photo paper luster now you're not going to get that exact setting because we're using an HP printer so what we're going to do is we're going to say other photo inkjet papers now you have matte you have glossy so what we're going to do is we're going to just use this general other photo inkjet papers if you have the option to choose the exact type of photo paper you do that but that's the easy route. I want to show you something that's a little bit more challenging so that if you run into it, it'll be a lot easier to deal with. So we come down here and the margins, do you want them normal, uniform, and we want it to fill the page or do we want it to shrink to fit? Which gives you a totally different look. That's all up to you, but you need to be aware of that. Now we have more settings, which you need to be aware of as well. Now if you have the, you're using an HP, you're going to get a lot more options here. And if you have everything hooked up with your HP application on your computer, you need to do that because you'll have all these options, but you want the best print quality. And you have some other settings here that you really will want to explore. A lot of these we already took care of, but one of them that we didn't have on the main application on the computer was actually the print quality, which we want to be best. Okay, so once we've got that, we're going to hit okay. It's saving that and we can go ahead and print one quick change here now that I'm looking at this photo paper It's not really glossy um, But I did choose you know a pretty general one But I'm gonna move it over to matte because I do believe we have more of a matte finish on this type of photo paper All right, so what I did was I installed my photo paper into my main paper tray uh, Which I already have selected to print so you're gonna want to make sure You're putting your photo paper in the correct tray so that you're able to print it seamlessly if not you'll have to switch things around then you're going to be hitting print now as the printing is happening uh, the type of printer i'm using is the hp office jet pro premiere this is a special model with a silver wrapping around it and it's done very well for me i highly recommend it i will link that down in the description below as well well now that we take a look at this photo you're seeing it for the first time with me and we see how it was able to print out. You got all the colors, there are no streaks. Uh, the quality is very, 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 very close to what I saw on the computer because what the way I always judge the actual printout is was it blurry or was it crystal clear when you saw it on the screen of your computer? In this case, it is almost identical, an identical match to what I saw on the screen on my computer. You have all the colors, you have the quality, you have the detail, and you don't have any lines or streaks. That's very important when you're printing on this type of paper, and it's printed in a way, you can tell that it was meant to be printed on matte photo paper specifically. It's not glossy. You have a little bit of a gloss there because it is still photo paper. It's going to have some gloss, uh, but you don't have an extreme over gloss uh, with the ink. That is the benefit of printing with the correct settings on your computer and or on your smartphone. Of course, with the smartphone, there's going to be a different video, uh, but this of course is with your most windows going back as far as you can where windows will support, you know, still, but it is very important that you get the best photo quality. You might be printing out some family photos. You might be printing out some memories and you really want the best quality so that you can frame this so that you can share this with other people. And when they ask you say, well, I actually printed it myself with my own printer uh, and so that is the benefit of being able to do this and I really hope uh, that this video showed you how and give you a good example of how exactly to get the best photo quality if I was using a glossy paper I would have chose glossy if it was a obscure type of photo paper I would put in just the general photo paper uh, that gate there was an option for that in the settings. If I was using HP photo paper, there was a variety of options for HP photo paper. But as you see, this is Epson photo paper printed from an HP Office Jet device. So uh, you can see that even with a different brand of photo paper, you can still get the absolute best quality if you're using the right settings. So I hope that I gave you the best instructions for you to get the absolute best 
photo quality. That is my goal, is for you to be able to use your printer with ease and get the best photo quality and get, uh, get the most out of your printing device. And this goes across uh, virtually any device from Epson, Canon to HP. As, as long as you have everything set up with the specific correlating app uh, for your computer, you're gonna have a lot of these settings. And if not that, you already have a lot of settings within the printer uh, default settings when you download the driver for your specific printer model. So again, if this video was helpful, please make sure to like any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. Remember all of the product links that are down in the description below. And of course, the sponsored uh, product that will help you if you're having issues with your current printer. But that's really all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.